Well, you know, it's nice when you get to work on a movie and you're working with the same actors that you've worked with in the past for several reasons. Um, you kind of get to know each other's rhythms. You know who they are. It's fun to kind of expand on the relationships. You know, our understanding of our characters grows with each one and our understanding of the relationship we have to one another. So that's really good. I think it actually helps the, the work and um, it's also nice because it's a really nice group of people and we get to spend time with friends at this point. Um, so that's really exciting. And it was also great in this one to have a few new faces, um, Catherine Newton and Jonathan Majors, uh, to one, they're such great actors to be able to watch what they do and, and act with them, but to spend time with them, get to know them and hang out with them. Well, all right, if I, I think if Scott Lang uh, or Ant-Man uh, resonates with, with Marvel fans, um, I, it might be the fact that he is a regular guy with no innate superpower, um, that he's a father, that he is conflicted uh, between being a regular guy who have, wants to just be a dad and being a superhero and he tries to find the balance of those two things. I think that's a, I think that that is something that people can relate to. Certainly parents can relate to, just being a parent and then having their job or trying to do what it is they need to do and, and, and balance all of that. But I think those struggles are, are relatable. And the fact that he's a regular person thrown into this extraordinary circumstance um, is kind of fun to watch because it makes people think, well, you know, what would I do if I was in that situation? I think the signature of the Ant-Man movies are family. Uh, it's the thing that kind of separates them a little bit from some of the others. One, the uh, hero, uh, the titular hero, and I love saying the word titular, uh, is a parent. That is um, different than some of the other Avengers. And, um, the uh, re relationship between parents and kids is really at the forefront in the strength of family. Um, I think that in Quantumania that exists. And maybe people have been hearing that this one is very different and it is true. It is epic in scale and uh, we've got a real big baddie. And, um, and it's, it, 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 it's opened up to this insane, intense and crazy world that looks different than the first two. but the ideas and the themes and some of the humor and all of the stuff that existed in those other Ant-Man movies, I think is in this one too. Um, it's, so it's all of that plus Quantum Universe plus Kang the Conqueror. It's very tough to describe the quantum realm, but you know, I think that if Early on when we were doing these, the very first Ant-Man movies, and we had this conversation of like, what if you did just keep getting smaller and smaller? Like if there wasn't a regulator on the belt and you could just get smaller and smaller and smaller until you were in some completely strange landscape in an unknown universe, and what if it was just an unknown universe? Like wouldn't, could that exist? Absolutely could. Maybe we're in a quantum realm right now on terra firma and everything out there is somebody else's just, you know, universe under uh, someone else's fingernail. I mean, this is the whole thing about science. This exists. This is real, folks. So the movie takes place underneath the fingernail. <laughs>